24 we were there from like 1 30 i think and so we're tired we waited in a line so kiori can ride the horse with me but the line was so long they had one person doing it one horse and this is going in circles twice around the big field and it was just like i'm um, taking forever so we didn't do it but um i love cute shit stop playing with me i love this this is cute yeah my boobs are lopsided because of breastfeeding, but whatever, whatever. Okay, y'all, so I decided that I'm going to take Kiori to out to eat with me. Because why not? I want to go out to eat, and I need to also go get her some saline spray for her congestion. So let's go ahead. So we went into the store for one thing, came out with 10. And now we're going to eat the money I'm spending. Oh my gosh. What's up, y'all? It's the big Sam out here. It's like, no, let me stop. Um, so I decided I'm gonna do a QA. And right now I don't really have my camera. Um, so I'm been on my phone. So I'm, I wrote my like all the questions down. If you hear the octonauts, my baby is watching her show. Okay, mind your business. The first question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Honestly, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like this last, this past year, like I've just been feeling so stuck and I don't know where I'm gonna be. And I feel like I'm so behind in life. And I just know that I wanna get into a better situation. Like I want my baby to grow up good. I want her to be happy and us to never struggle. So in five years, I see us, you know, me with a great job, our own house, own car, just happy and living life and thriving, really. Okay. What's the hardest part about being a mom? Honestly, I think the hardest part about being a mom is... I'm back. I think the hardest part about being a mom is feeling like I'm not doing enough for her and to feel like I'm failing her. Like, 
I want to give her the world, but I feel like I'm not doing that. I think that's the hardest part, really, about being a mother. Honestly, like, that's, that's to me, that's the hardest part. Like, I just want her to be the happiest baby and happiest person in the world. I want her to have everything, and I feel like I'm just not able to get it to her as of right now. So that's, that's the hardest part about being a mother to me. How did I bounce back so fast? Um, I honestly don't know. I think it's genetics because um, I wish I kept my weight. Like I lost so much weight and I have a fast metabolism. So I am 119, like I'm almost close to how much I weighed right before I had her. And I wanted to stay 154. I wanted to stay that much, but no, I didn't. Did the hospital give you a diet plan? No, they didn't give me a diet plan. They just told me to, um, you know, eat protein and greens and lots, drink lots of water. Lots of water. That's the key. How is it like living in Georgia? And do I prefer living in Georgia or Maryland? Honestly, living in Georgia is like more peaceful. It sucks because living has gone up so much, but Georgia is still behind on paying people right. I worked for the hospital and they paid me trash and they don't want to give people raises around here. They're just very stingy with their money. Um, it's not bad, it's just, I lived in a predominantly black area with more culture and Georgia doesn't have that. Like, yeah, there's a lot of like, you know, mixed races and everything, but there's not a lot of culture as what I'm used to. So it's not that bad, honestly. It's just like a place for peace. And right now, um, it's what I would, where, where I want to raise my daughter at. Like, I love Maryland. I prefer Maryland, but Maryland has gotten so bad because the area that I want to be in in Maryland is just constantly shootings and killings and I don't want to raise my daughter there so right now I am going to say I prefer Georgia since I have a baby but if I didn't have a baby I'd be up in Maryland partying but I'm not <laughs> um did I have a birth plan yes I did did I go buy it not really my birth plan was to have a water birth but my hospital doesn't ha do that. Um, and so since I didn't have a water birth, I wanted to squat and I didn't want epidural and um, I wanted it dim. I just wanted a relaxing environment and I had like a lot of, I had a whole list. I don't even know if I had that still, but I wasn't able to do really anything when I was giving birth, how I wanted to, because since I was contracting so fast already without the like without the medication, um, with the medication made it ten times worse. So I was in a, a lot of pain. So I got epidural, but it didn't work really, and I wasn't able to squat. They weren't gonna let me because I had epidural, even though I felt my legs. So I don't know. I didn't really go by it. I wish I did, but I didn't. Do you want more kids? I want one more. I don't want a girl, I want a boy. I want a boy so bad, but I'm so happy I have Kiori. But I do want one more, but I only want one more if um, it's with somebody I genuinely love and if I'm married. Like, I definitely want to give Kiori a sibling, like, by the time she's three. How was recovery? Honestly, recovery was pretty easy. Literally, the day after I gave, like, the day I gave birth, like, the night, bleeding wasn't even bad. I, I used the bathroom without hurting that same day, and... Walking wasn't bad. I think what it was was honestly just sitting. But once I got over that, like the only thing that really hurt was me sitting. So I used my donut a lot, only on hard surfaces. But 
recovery was pretty easy. Like, I didn't, I think that I had the easiest pregnancy and easiest birth and recovery that I know a lot of people don't, don't really have, and I'm glad for that. So the girl with the list, not everybody goes through what you put on your list, okay? Okay. Um, would you do different things differently? Um, if you mean like with my pregnancy, maybe. Um, the only thing I would do differently would be honestly how I gave birth and everything. But other than that, as of right now, I don't think I'll do anything different. I think what I did was like, honestly, that in the best interest of me and my daughter. So no, yes and no. And do you regret getting pregnant? I don't regret it. I think in the beginning I did, because it wasn't, you know, how I w wish things had went down. Like it wasn't how I planned. You know, I didn't plan it. I wasn't married. It wasn't somebody I was in love with. But it happened. I think the only thing I regret is getting pregnant young and not being 100% financially stable. And, you know, in my own area. So that's really the only thing that I do regret. And I think that I regret, like how it was because I'm a single mom so it's like I wish that things I like you know things were different for her really that's what I regret I regret not having a better relationship to bring her into so that's the only thing really I, that I do regret is you know having, having her so young and not being stable and not having the relationship I wish I did for her and how is life as a new mom um it's good honestly it's not i don't go through like what a lot of people would go through like i've been seeing constantly people say it's so hard and that um you know i don't even know like just people talking about it and their experience and my experience was 10 times different from everybody else pregnancy was easy birth was easy recovery easy her easy is easy baby ever like my next baby is gonna be the worst i don't know but other than that, I, I mess with it. I just wish, you know, I could have a relationship for her so she can see and grow up and like, oh, this is how you're supposed to get treated. Yes. So right now I'm a single mother, so I've got to do things on my own. And it's it's going to be harder and everything. But I'm going to push through for her. I'm going to push through. Um. So what have you been struggling with the most? And I think that what I just said, you know, being a, being a single mother, that's what I've been struggling the most with. I'm constantly thinking about how I wasn't able to give her the best relationship for a father and, um, you know, just something to look up to, but I have a lot of support. So that's the best thing I, I, I can say, having a lot of support is the best. Other than that, it's only I, I struggle with. And tips for new moms and how it breastfeeding and tips and pros and cons. So tip for new moms is always go with your gut. Do what's best for your child. And like just like if you like just feel like there's something's wrong, then it is. Always also check up with the doctor with certain things. Don't listen to you know the older generation because things have changed. And that's really all. And your baby is your best interest. But yeah, um, pros and cons of breastfeeding. Pros, you know, it makes your baby get a lot of nutrition. Um, it gives you like a type of bond with the baby that not a lot of people can say they have. Um, cons is clogged ducts. That shit hurts. Oh my gosh, you feel like you have COVID. It's, it's really bad. Did you get PPD? Um, yes and no. 
I already had depression and anxiety before I had her. And so my doctor gave me medication right when I left the hospital. So, you know, things haven't been really hard, but I do go through some type of, you know, moments where I'm like in my head and constantly upset. But as of right now, no, I'm doing great. We're doing good. So all I gotta say is, yo, if you're expecting or you're a new mom, do what's best for the interest of you and your baby. If you're in a bad relationship, leave that person. Your baby comes first. Bad friendships, cut them off. Toxic family members or anybody around you, let them go. Do what you think is best for you and your child. That's the, the best tips I can give you. Only that's who you, your main focus is your kid or your children. Main thing. That's it. Put you and your children first. Put your children before you and then put you. That's all I got to say. You want to say bye-bye, Kiori? Bye-bye. 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 All right. Bye, y'all.